and they're off in the Brookmead. Secret or not and Queen Caroline breaking together. There goes Queen Caroline out to establish the early lead. The outside Zen Benny now moving forward into second and Secret or not back in third position. They're followed by Armoise now in between horses and Street Miz and Sweet Sandy in the back. Sweet Sandy's about eight off the pace up ahead. Zen Benny now takes the lead. Queen Caroline will settle right off that target in second spot. And then it's Armoise between horses third, Street Miz and Secret or not and Sweet Sandy is last of them all still seven or eight from the front. So the pace is honest out there with Zen Benny. Zen Benny in a three length advantage, but the well settled Queen Caroline has a target in sight now with about four and a half furlongs left. Armoire is also right there, third position, just about five to close in, then Secret or Not in Street Miz and Sweet Sandy's got to pick it up from the back still. Heading with the far turn, Zen Benny, but Queen Caroline getting closer, length and a half off that leader now, and Armoire is in third. Secret or Not at the rail, ridden along for a little more run from fourth, then Sweet Sandy and Street Miz tails off last. Three ace on the wire. Zen Benny still in front, but Queen Caroline is there, and it's three lengths back. Armois is now getting into action. Armois ridden along third, and three to close, and Secret or Not is fourth, and Sweet Sandy drew it on the far outside. They're into the stretch now, and it's Zen Benny just holding on, but Queen Caroline pushes on by to a narrow lead, and Armois to full attack out in the center of the course in third. It is Queen Caroline in front. Queen Caroline breaks away length and a half in front from Armois, a 60 left to go, Queen Caroline. Queen Caroline from Armoire, and Secret or Not picks up third late from Zen Benny, then Sweet Sandy. Time, 140.5. And they're off in the Brookmead. Secret or not and Queen Caroline breaking together. There goes Queen Caroline out to establish the early lead. The outside Zen Benny now moving forward into second and Secret or not back in third position. They're followed by Armoise now in between horses and Street Miz and Sweet Sandy in the back. Sweet Sandy's about eight off the pace up ahead. Zen Benny now takes the lead. Queen Caroline will settle right off that target in second spot. And then it's Armoise between horses third, Street Miz and Secret or not and Sweet Sandy. Andy is last of them all still seven or eight from the front. So the pace is honest out there with Zen Benny. Zen Benny in a three length advantage, but the well settled Queen Caroline has a target in sight now with about four and a half furlongs left. Armoire is also right there, third position, just about five to close in, then Secret or Not in Street Miz and Sweet Sandy's got to pick it up from the back still. Heading with the far turn, Zen Benny, but Queen Caroline getting closer, length and a half off that leader now, and Armoire is in third. Secret or Not at the rail, ridden along for a little more run from fourth, then Sweet Sandy and Street Miz tails off last. Three ace on the wire. Zen Benny still in front, but Queen Caroline is there, and it's three lengths back. Armois is now getting into action. Armois ridden along third, and three to close, and Secret or Not is fourth, and Sweet Sandy drew it on the far outside. They're into the stretch now, and it's Zen Benny just holding on, but Queen Caroline pushes on by to a narrow lead, and Armois to full attack out in the center of the course in third. It is Queen Caroline in front. Queen Caroline breaks away length and a half in front from Armois, a six left to go, Queen Caroline. Queen Caroline from Armoire, and Secret or Not picks up third late from Zen Benny, then Sweet Sandy. Time to the jockey owned point. by Amy Moore and trained by Michael Matz. Printed Virginia by Morgan's Ford Farm. Queen Caroline, four-year-old Doc Bear Brown Philly by Blame. Out of Queens Plaza by Forestry in 1 minute 40.94 in the Brookmead Stakes. Now making the presentation, Leanne Smith. The, the four-year-old Virginia bred Queen Caroline goes right to the front today and leads them all the way in the Brookmead. Nice, confident ride by Fergal Lynch. Your strategy going into the race, and what were you thinking at the top of the lane? Did you think you had it? Well, we took a lead stone. 
the six horse went to the lead. We only took it up at the quarter pole. Okay. All right. Well, your, your, your thoughts turning for home? It was good. I mean, it was like a piece of work for that filly. She came here very well prepared by Mr. Matz. I spoke to Alex and John yesterday, and he told me how to ride the filly. Gave me a lot of confidence. And since I turned into straight and turned her loose, she took off. All right, Fergal Lynch wins the Brook Mead with Queen Caroline uh, Just Seville. We, you might recognize him. He's Niall's brother, but I know you've been with Michael Matz for a while. This has yeah. to be a nice win. You've been knocking heads against the Virginia Breds all day, and you get the money today. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. We're very happy with her. And uh, y your thoughts on having a filly like this in the barn and being an assistant for a top barn like Michael? Yeah, it's great. And she, she's been with us a few years now, and she's been brilliant wherever we've put her and she's always tried and she's always run a nice race. All right, congratulations, Just Seville, long time assistant for trainer Michael Matz. They win the Brook Mead with the Virginia Red Queen Caroline.